Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Thief Deadly Shadows. Although this is not the standard mission, I will be keeping my talking to a minimum while we're in here. This is Gamal's lair. We're here to find out anything we can about the glyph key, destroy it or erase it, eliminate Gamal, and or find out what she's up to. The glyph of unbinding. I must keep you here with me. Secret, yes. Unbinder. You are the undoer, the unwriter. So easily can you destroy my stone warriors. So easily do you unwrite the glyphs that animate them. Why must you exist? You are like the last of all glyphs, a terror to me. But here, in my lair, my home, my den, you can do no harm. Garrett would want to see you, take you, use you, yes. With your power, he would fear my stone soldiers no more. One hit with his cursed blackjack, his bludgeon, to the back of the head of my minions and they would crumble. But that will not happen. You, Cliff of Unbinding, you will sit unused, unseen, unsung. The Letters of Diocin, Book 5, to the Consul. I am nearing the end of my ability to serve as interpreter. My apprentice, Kodika, though blind, is highly gifted. She should be my successor when my time is ended. For the future, the prophecies are clear and rife with warnings. With the help of the young acolyte that chose theory over us, we shall eventually overcome the first two trials. Then, a third Dark Age will approach. 
but here the glyphs are not so clear. Interpreting this third trial will be Kautika's life's work and her eventual undoing. She knows this and accepts her fate with dignity and balance. Interpreter Diosin. To the Consul, this would be my last missive. The lifts have taken all from me. I hope my efforts have not been in vain and that my warnings have not fallen on deaf ears. I await a resolution on the matter of the glyphs I have postulated. If there is a glyph of transmutation, then there is terrible danger. A shapeshifter glyph would be too much a temptation for any keeper. We must scour the old texts for any references to such a glyph. It is possible that early keepers found it, but that the knowledge was lost. And it is how that knowledge might have come to be lost that brings me great unrest. Interpreter Diosin. Apparently, Gamal found it, and we moved all traces of it and texts which allude to it. How many times am I going to steal this thing? Always the thief. 
His name always in the prophecies. And where is mine? Am I not just as terrible? Am I not even more fearsome? I must animate my army in more numbers than before. He will not fulfill his destiny. Final glyph, last of all glyphs. Cross check for other names used. Sentience, crown. Where? Check Kodaga's notes on Prophetetikus. Lost beyond time, under the above world. Translation incorrect? We check source. Landmarks must be significant. Relationship to artifacts. Aldo Plaza, Bradshaw Monument. Heart? Stone Market proper, clock tower, chalice, crown. Old Quarter, near Fort Ironwood? Docks? South Quarter, Fountain. Research historical significance. I. Exhibit in Wieldstrom Museum. Oh, so we're going there. Ancient Keepers. We're present, uh, were present when the city was built. Earliest writings? Check all this history texts. Why giant? Could it be the streets themselves? Which streets were built already? Which are the oldest landmarks, oldest districts? We check the texts. Cross-check compendium against failsafe or ancient failsafe. How did ancient keepers refer to final glyph? Gamal's journal. My efforts have met with obstacles, hindrances, delays, but there is a benefit to having Garrett alive. He can easily do what I cannot, the thief, the sneak. I know everything, and he knows nothing. My success is assured. It is time for recollection, retrospect, recollection actually. Decades, centuries past. I remember the day Somersault found the glyph, my glyph, and I knew, even I signed the covenant never to touch it, that it would be mine. It called to me. It sang me its song. Then it was foolish trusting Vandalin, who shared with us his insight to use the glyphs against the accelerated aging. And it worked, better than I had hoped. And now I am more than any of them could have imagined. Of the recent past, the child Laurel, whose form I used to hide from the others for so long, sealed her grave with the glyphs so that her skin would be mine for as long as I needed, wanted it. How did she escape? I still am unsure. And Orland, so easily manipulated by the letters, signed with a C. Any other would have unearthed my simple ploy. How easy it has been to remove from the libraries the books that refer to me. And now for the future. I surmise that there are others following my path, my destiny. All they lack is the glyph of transmutation. And when the time comes, I will give it to them, my brethren, and more. I am become glyphs. The time of secrets is almost over. A new age approaches. And I'll be right back. I just have to use the restroom. To be human, but whatever she was, Gamal's a monster now. Okay, everyone, back.
remember this part, everyone. There was a giant statue to the left, and it is alive. And it's actually surprisingly bright out there. We're going to have to find a different way around, or we're going to have to deal with it right away. Statues require two mines or two fire arrows to destroy them. Oh no, I think my game locked up everyone or something. Okay, we're back.
I thought I told you I don't like being followed. Our separate paths have converged, Garrett. We both seek the same thing. Hmm. I suppose if you were working for Gamal, you would have tried to kill me just now. Tried? I would have succeeded. Look around us, Garrett. This is Gamal's secret library. Here she has been lurking, plotting for much longer than just one lifetime. She has used the glyphs to extend her life. And there's more. You've been reading, Artemis. Yes, we are fortunate. In these books, Gamal has documented her plans carefully. But the meaning of that map is not yet clear to me. Chalice, crown, these things are marked with the names of the artifacts. These books, some have been missing for months, some maybe years. She does not say what the final glyph does, only that she will become undefeatable once she... The Aldale Plaza, the South Quarter Fountain. Well, now we know what to do with the artifacts once we have them. They fit into those landmarks somehow. She has been gaining knowledge, while our ignorance grew. Do the books say where she is now? The remaining treasures they are at the museum. 
She hopes to gather them all at once. And when she has them, she'll activate this... The last of all glyphs. No, no. The books are very clear on that. She intends to destroy it. When she has all the treasures, she'll have the power to do just that. The last glyph is the only thing she fears. Well, that and you, my friend. Destroy it? But that's what Orland and the others told me to do. Half-truths from the Keepers? Why am I not surprised? Council to still employ subterfuge, with all that's at stake. I will go to Orlan myself and get the truth from him. You should go to the museum and steal the remaining artifacts before Gamal gets to them. Then let us meet back at Stone Market Plaza. And Garrett, if you come face to face with Gamal, you must understand. With her power over glyphs, she is all but indestructible. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Artemis? Oh, we've already read this before. This is a copy, in case we didn't read that note. Now we can shatter the statues. Yep. We have to blackjack them. I believe we have to blackjack them from behind. With the increased difficulty, this is not going to be easy at all to do.
would like to read the book down there, but we're going to destroy this other statue to clear the area so that we can do that. We'll get him when he turns around from the passage we're in at the moment. My quest for the five artifacts. I now have two of the five. The chalice and the jackknall's paw were easy. In my capacity as puppeteer for the fool Orland, I was able to have Garrett do the work to acquire them. Then, when my true nature was revealed, it was a trifle to remove them from the keepers to the safety of my den, my lair. For the heart and the eye, they are attention seekers, and this has brought them both to the Wieldstrom Museum where they pass as ordinary displays. There they feed their desire to wound, to entrap, to pollute the minds of susceptible humans. The eye is fueled by the flesh eye of my adversary. I wonder what that sentient will have to say to me when I finally hold it in my hands. I wonder if it can comprehend what I have become. As for the location of the crown, for so long the glyphs were frustratingly silent until recently when it was made clear that the crown, too, has arrived at the Wieldstrom. This brings me extraordinarily close to my goal. My quest, it is, as if the sentinels wished me to find them. Now I must proceed to the museum and steal, possess, acquire the remaining sentinels. It is time for all secrets to be made known.
again. Whatever it is. Chronicles of Digar, Epilogue. We imagined our great excitement at finding the new glyph. Somersault was the first to discover its secrets, but it wasn't long before our excitement grew to concern, then fear. Fear for the future. Fear that the glyph could fall into the hands of an unbalanced mind. For we keepers are human, and humans have weaknesses. With no way to destroy it, we enshrined it, sealed it with all manner of glyphs, and have set down these words to speak to the future. Do not heed the call of the glyph of transmutation, the glyph that can be used to steal another's form. Do not seek to unlock the seals that hold it. Let it sit forever unused. And most of all, may balance be with us, the four entrusted with this terrible knowledge, task, and burdened. Signed, Keepers Digar, Somersault, Gamal, and Vandalin. I think that was all the objectives we needed to do in Gamal's lair. We now need to break into the actual Wieldstrom Museum. We're going to call the session, though, here, everyone, right at the exit, and we'll pick up, um, I guess, back on the city streets in the next episode. Alternatively, I don't intend to go shopping or do anything, so we could just pick right back up at the Wieldstrom Museum. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll do that, everyone. So next episode will begin at the Wieldstrom Museum itself, at the mission intro for that area. And I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching.